Grace, mercy, and peace be with you. In the name of our risen Savior, Jesus the Christ. In 1979, the comedy legend Steve Martin starred in his first feature film. It's a movie called The Jerk. Has anybody seen this movie? Yes. yes. It's a ridiculous, hilarious, completely inappropriate film that I have actually loved my whole life long. I think it's the first movie that I was ever able to quote lines from. And there's so many very quotable things in The Jerk. In this movie, Steve Martin plays a lovable fool named Navin R. Johnson. He's the jerk. Navin leaves his home and his family to make his own way in the world. He falls in love, and through twists and turns of fate, he becomes incredibly wealthy. Then he becomes the subject of a class action lawsuit, and he loses everything, having to write checks for $1.09 at a time to like 9 million people. But in what's probably the most memorable scene in the film, Navin has a complete breakdown. He insists that he doesn't need anybody or anything, and he's about to storm out of his house until his eyes fall on an ashtray that's sitting on the corner of his desk. Desperately, he clutches at the ashtray, and he says, this ashtray is the only thing that I need. And then he sees a paddleball game on the floor, <laughs> and he picks that up too, and then Navin says, this ashtray and this paddle game are all that I need. And then he picks up a remote control. And the litany goes on. This ashtray, this paddle ball game, and this remote control, and that's all I need. As Navin makes his way out of the house, he stops and grabs matches and a lamp and finally a chair, insisting that these random items are all that he really needs. And it's comedy gold. This is a picture of what the jerk looks like as he is making his way out of the house with all of these very important items that he really needs. And while it's ridiculous, it's also kind of relatable. Oftentimes, the things that we think that we need, they're not really the things that we need at all. If you read the newsletter that came out on Friday, you have probably already read the news about our worship space. We got notice this past week that our landlord is, uh, has put the building under contract to someone else, and we now have 90 days to find a new place for our little church. That's not the best news, especially given the current real estate market. And I have to admit, first thing that I started thinking about was all of our stuff. Our piano, our cross, our altar, our live stream equipment, our children's room, our office, our chairs. I kind of channeled my inner jerk, looking around, thinking about all the stuff that we needed to do ministry. All I really need is this microphone and this remote control and these chairs. <laughs> of course, that's not the stuff that we need at all. In our gospel text this morning, we read how Jesus sends out 70 disciples in teams of two. They have a mission. They are to speak peace, to proclaim that the kingdom of God has come near, and to heal those who are in need of healing. And Jesus says to them, carry no purse, no bag, and no sandals. And he also tells them to stick together. He assures them that God will provide for their needs. And he instructs them to clearly and consistently proclaim their message, regardless of how it is received by other people. And they do. And later, we read that the 70 return to Jesus filled with joy. They are elated and amazed by all that they could accomplish. And they do it all barefoot and purseless. You know what we need to be effective in our ministry? You know what we need to bring peace and healing and hope into the lives of other people? You know what we need to be a transformative power for good in our community? We need each other. Yeah. And we need to trust the promises of God. And we need to trust in the power of the Holy Spirit. We need to be bold and brave in our proclamation of God's love for all people. That's it. That's what we need. And we can do this ministry anywhere. We can do it in a school. We've done that before. We can do it in a park. We can do it in someone else's sanctuary or fellowship hall. We can do it in a laundromat or a restaurant 
or a gym, we can do it anywhere. And we can do it purseless and barefoot if necessary. God knows that's been done before and it was done very effectively. I'm not worried and I don't want you to worry either. We have everything that we need to continue the ministry of Well of Hope, regardless of what happens in this space. It's not even a very good space anyway. <laughs> we don't need a purse, and we don't need a bag, and we don't need sandals. We don't need an ashtray, or a paddle ball game, or a remote control. We don't even need these chairs. We need each other. We need the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord, and we need the Holy Spirit. And that's all we need. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen.